Hello once more guys and welcome to Combat Mission Black Sea. And uh, we're carrying on with the Wings of Glory scenario. Well, not the scenario, the scenario is into the breach, but hey-ho. Um, so I have noticed the fact that we have what looks to be a armoured um, car, or armoured truck, whatever you want to call it over here. Um, there's a crew of three or four, there looks to be four here, there's another guy over here actually. Um, they're armed with a small machine gun, so nothing really too much of a threat. Um, it looks as though they've been targeted by something, so let's see. Right, so you were hit. So does that mean that you're being uh, lit up by the infantry in here? That would make sense, as they're aiming in that general direction. Um, it looks as though they're about to fire a javelin. I wouldn't particularly like them to do that, because I kind of need to hold on to my javelins. I could do with moving the command... Um, squad into the actual uh, area as well. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll get them set up in... Um, maybe in here, actually. The closer they are, the better they work in terms of command and control. Um, I'll put them on the first level over here, then at least they'll be close enough so they can help out. And as well be in radio contact. I'm going to move out um, some of these guys as well. Let's take a look over here. Do we have a window on this side? Yes, we do. So we're going to move a machine gun crew over here. Um, right. So they're not set up, obviously. These spotters, well, the crew, they're not really spotters, but they're not looking the right way. Um, I did say I would have them head over to this vehicle over here. So we're going to tell them to go over here. They can pick up um, some AT4s from there. And we can basically use them as uh, emergency sort of, uh, anti-tank. Okay. I'm also going to have this vehicle come around and behind the houses over here, so at least it's protected. The same for this one over here. Um, uh, though this guy is armed with the machine gun. I wish it was a 50 cal machine gun, but no, it's just a normal, uh, 7.62 machine gun. Which, um, don't get me wrong, is okay. It, it's fine. I think I'm gonna have these guys actually set up. It's like, where do I want to put them? Because I don't want them too close to danger. But I also want them to be close to the rest of our troops. Um, We'll put them in this house at the back over here, then at least uh, they're okay. I would like to probably reverse this through here. But at least it's somewhat protected. This is dead, isn't it? Yes. Yep, knocked out. Okay, thank you. So it's just infantry over here then, basically crewmen running for their lives. Uh, there's a lot of BTRs to our rear, actually. Which could be very dangerous. Okay. Uh, so we'll get some guys set up in here. I'm going to move this squad over here, actually. Um, actually, no, I'll move them to the second floor here. Uh, they can be moved to the second floor over here, and we can get um, some covering fire on this bridge, as we are going to have to be careful. Alright, I need to have somebody watch this area as well. Okay, unfortunately we did lose a striker as well, which is a shame. It was only a 50 cal striker, but strikers are strikers, that are always very useful. Right, so we have this vehicle. I'm going to send this vehicle over here to watch uh, this checkpoint. So I think I'll set them up in this second building over here, then, uh, well, maybe in here, maybe, I don't know. Um, yeah, maybe we should get in here, then at least they have a chance to spot them and um, get a javelin or something off, depending on what it is. But uh, this is a strike under 50 cal, so yeah. Not the most powerful, but um, it will definitely help us to hold the line. I'm going to try and just watch my rear, as I do need to be careful. Okay. I think I'll have uh, some of the machine gun crews actually move up to here or something. And at least we can get some overwatch. Uh, we did take a lot of casualties here. So have them move to the second floor, but at least we can get some spotting going on. I mean, uh, the AI just pushed at the wrong time. If they'd pushed a little bit earlier, they probably would have been able to make it into the town. And they almost, almost made it into the town. It was just lucky if I'd called in a Apache gunship only a few minutes earlier. So that pretty much saved me there. Right, so we have this guy. Oh, please don't. Oh, he's fucking stuck. Fuck's sake. 
Well, that's my fault. So, at least it'll be there for the time being then, apparently. Alright, I'm gonna move more of the command elements into town. We'll just get them set up in the town, then at least we have our command and control net. Well, at least I can watch the rails, I guess. Let's see, can it actually watch the rails? Target. Uh, no, not well at all, but at least it can watch this area. Well, that'll kind of help, I guess. Hmm. Have it watch the bridge, and then at least it can put some automatic, well, automatic grenade fire into anything that crosses. Which should be um, more than enough, especially considering the BTRs are going to be side facing them. So uh, that should be sufficient to help us. Okay. So we are calling an Apache over this area. Right. I'm going to change the facing of this vehicle, actually. Have it wash this area. Okay, let's see what happens. I do really like these strikers, I've got to admit, they're really nice looking vehicles. And then with explosive reactive armor, they're pretty... That's Mortifier. Oh, right, yeah, that's my own Mortifier. I forgot to cancel that, actually. I should probably do that. Why are they, uh, panicked? They're pinned. By what, exactly? Oh. Right. Yeah, that must have been from that jeep over here. Okay. Yeah, they panicked. Oh no, there's a few vehicles over here now. I've seen a BTR as well. Yeah. That's definitely a BTR. Some more. Jeeps as well. Okay. Um, so I'm going to call... Well, I'm going to cancel that mortar. Barrage. Um, okay. He's on mission. Might call in some uh, 155 batteries over here. So we're going to need them head to the top floor and then at least we can get some uh, better spotting going on. Yeah, these guys really did take a punishment. Okay. Have them head to that building. This fine gentleman over here. He can just hunt command, like, to the... maybe. Hmm. I need them to change into this building over here. Actually, we'll, we'll hold him for now. We'll hold him for now. We'll move him a little bit forward. Like, maybe to the... and then at least he can try and overwatch this area. Then again... yeah. Right, so we have this vehicle over here as well. Uh, the danger is of, of course, this vehicle over here, the BTR. Okay, so what we'll do then is we'll hunt to the edge of this building, and then hopefully we can try and kill them. That may be heading over here, actually. That's the headquarters as well. Actually, so what we'll do then is um, we'll have this reverse out here. And then if they try and cross down here with a jeep, it should be met by the striker. And just annihilated. Okay. It's uh, basically managing our resources. And I could do with actually moving this vehicle inside. I mean, these suppers. What do I actually want to do with these suppers? I mean, we have these demo charges, but I'm not entirely sure where to put them. 
or how to use them for that point. Um, so that's one of my failings, Redva. That's not in the game, that's just me not knowing how to use it. Right. Oh, we have some AT rockets in here, so I'll grab um, some AT for each of them. There we go. And, uh, yeah, we could have them open up, that's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have them move into the, uh, compound here. Oh, I still have this vehicle as well. I almost forgot about this one. Hunter about the... Okay, command crew's moving across. Is there not a second floor? No. Okay. Right. Have them face that direction. What is this? A Tunguska? Oh, that's AA. Oh no. That could be really dangerous. Right, that BTL's moving up. I heard, um, grenades being fired, actually. Just a moment ago. So let's, um, let's go back then. I'm, I heard one of my strike- Ah, okay. Right, I see. He should be probably dead now. Yeah, automatic fire, but he's still going. Oh god, please kill it. Oh, he's dead. Is it dead? It's knocked out. Fantastic. Oh, uh, good. We're getting some penetrations over here, though. Do you have the rounds? I don't think he has the rounds left. Wow, that was a lot of fire right there. Yes, he did in fact come into a hell of a lot of fire right then. Alright, so let's watch this from the beginning. So the beat album moves up. The striker takes aim. Um, only a few shots there. He turns the gun. Another salvo. Yeah, into the turret. Probably disabling the turret. Have a few shots there. So I don't know if he's actually out of ammo. He may in fact be out of ammunition for his main weapon. Yeah. And now this thing gets lit up like crazy. So that's a 50 cal from over here. Yeah. Just annihilated. Oh no, you do have ammo. Fantastic. I do love these vehicles. These 53mm grenade launchers are really useful. Okay. It's a very interesting scenario. You're basically attacked from all sides. And which does make me somewhat nervous about this side. So, uh... It may be prudent for us to actually deploy this infantry squad over into this building on the top floor. And then at least we can have the striker watch the road over here while they watch that kind of area and then... Yeah. I'll actually have... Uh, these guys... Maybe in the uh, second floor over here, then at least they can spot down the road. Alright, so we still have this Humvee. Okay. I think I'll adjust the mission, actually. It's not spotting anything for us anymore. Though it may be uh, telling us that there's more BTRs moving into the area. I wouldn't be surprised. We know they're over here somewhere. That's not large enough. I wish I had uh, one of the larger UAVs. We'll move it into this area then. But at least we have some fun. I could call in some mortifier into this area. Um, 
we'll hold on for the time being. I don't like to use those rounds without knowing I'm actually going to hit something. I'm going to have this thing move up in case of actual enemies over here. I don't want them out in the open at all. So, quick move to here. Okay. Yep, the jeep's moving up. It's pretty much dead, mate. It's dead. I'm trusting that the crew's popped up. That thing is definitely getting lit up. Yeah, headquarters. They are really lucky they're not getting lit up now. That is some crossfire. Oops. God damn. I am worried by how much ammunition they may actually have. 40. Hmm. Then again, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, right. 40 over here. So that might be... I'm not entirely sure, actually. They may have, like, ammunition boxes or something else. I have no idea. Right, so we'll change the orientation of these troops to watch the rear. Because I really do not want to get caught out over there. Crewmen are moving up. Those infantry are moving up. Right, it's all going good so far. So I'm going to tell them to deploy their weapon. They're in a very good spot, though. Once they get that weapon set up... I mean, they're in a dangerous position, but at least um, they'll be able to lay down some good fire. Okay. Um, I actually... I'd be tempted... Hmm. I mean, that's Platoon HQ. Company HQ. Platoon HQ. We need to be careful. Right, so they have ten grenades, actually. I do wish I had more javelins. That's one thing I do wish for. Well, we managed to get set up in the town um, pretty damn well. Yeah, there's definitely something moving over there. Mm. They're out of javelins. That's definitely a BTR. Right. It hasn't seen anything yet. It does sound like our Apache in the area. I'm not entirely sure if it can see anything and um, kill anything for us, but we'll find out. They are definitely moving up in that area. Okay. Another BTR. Right, we need to be very careful. Now, it can do a lot of damage with a 50 cal, but it can't do enough damage fast enough. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to change the orientation of this vehicle. So then, uh, yeah, at least we can catch it in the side over here. Right, I'm going to have them hide. Have the rest of these infantry move up into this building over here, get some more fire set up. I'm going to just um, have them hide, I think, for the time being. I mean, we need them to be close. I mean, what's the range of an AT for? I don't know. So I don't want to risk it. I'll have this thing reversed for now. Okay. Uh, we'll get these guys out of here. I'll just set up like that. Mm. 
Okay. Right, so the Apache is covering this area. But the B... I don't know, maybe the BTR can make it. I mean, I might be able to call in the other Apache, which I think I will. If we can call in the other Apache over here, then that will be fantastic. So we'll call that in over here, immediate, confirm. Okay, um, so you'll be here in a few minutes. Right. Hmm. I just hope this thing has enough ammo. Right, was that fire from... Oh, right, yes, we still have this one as well. I forgot about this one. Yeah, that was 50 cal fire. I really hope that's enough of the crewman. Really hope that's enough. It doesn't know. Oh no, it's yeah, it's, it's spotted us now. Whoops. Okay, I think it's pop smoke. Yeah, it's pop smoke. Um, so. It doesn't know where the it can't spot us. Who is actually spotting it? So it's being spotted by these infantry over here. Oh, and um, that would definitely be the Apache gunship. Was that another BTR just there? No, it just continued to hit that tank for some reason. Um, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I would rather you hit targets that are actually live. Okay. Do I have to tell them to deploy that weapon? No, I guess not. Really wish we had more joblins. Try and share information. Okay. Yes, I also do have the striker. Should make use of this. At least we know the gunships in the area. Can they actually spot anything from here? Oh no, they do have a pretty good field of view over this area. It's just the fact that they're like um, blocked by the smoke, these trees don't help. It's, it's a very narrow field of view. Okay. What kind of weapon is that? Oh, it's an AK-74. Right, so that's being spotted by the machine gun crew over here. Um, so once that smoke dissipates, we might be able to kill this thing. I could perhaps move up this thing, but I don't really want to risk it. Well, we could move this up and then potentially while the, uh... Smoke is in the area, move up, so we'll try that one. Alright, tell these guys to aim in that direction. That just makes me really nervous when I move up like this. Yeah, they're definitely spotting it now. Oh, 
shit. Fucking hell. God damn, out the smoke. I had no idea that thing was there. God damn it. I thought we'd saved it with the other one, but no, unfortunately. Ah, first 30 millimeter shell, so yeah, it went straight through there. That's, uh... Artillery in this area. Interesting. But yeah, that was a goddamn shame. Did not have a clue it was there. So, it starts firing. It probably gave its position away by firing. Yeah, we see it pop up there. It takes a shot. It makes itself visible. The uh, BTR takes a shot and then it's immediately taken out. I mean, if uh, if he'd been a little bit closer, we might have been able to take it out quicker, but... Yeah. That's a goddamn shame. I really wish it could have survived that, but I guess not. Well, that's a pretty vicious loss right there. Hmm. I'm losing way too many vehicles here. I don't know where this artillery fire is coming from. Okay. Speaking of artillery fire, actually, I think I might call some mortars down into that area. Now spotter's busy. I guess we're busy calling in the, yeah, calling in the attack helicopters. Uh, do we have anybody who could call in any mortar fire? Yes, we do. Right, so where is it? It's over here. Okay, so you're being spotted by these guys. Okay. Eight minutes, really? Well, we'll just have to see what happens then. Oh, you motherfucker. Hmm. Okay, I have a feeling that it's going to be quite dangerous. Who are you being spotted by? The infantry. Uh, this is a problem, we don't have any javelins left. That's cool, man. Okay, it's been spotted. Yeah. Grenade launchers firing on it. Come on, man, I need you to keep firing. Seriously, mate, I need you to fire. Firing grenades on it, but that's not enough. I mean, if we hunt to there, we might be able to get that. I'm gonna have to tell him to keep firing. Spotter is partially hulled down. Right, fire into that vehicle. Right, let's have a look at the situation. Have we seen anything else in the area? No. We know they're kind over there, but we don't have vision. So I might send the UAV at some point over to that area. Okay. I need you to really light them up now. Mate, you have orders. Right, so the crewman does have to be out. Yeah, that thing's dead. Most certainly dead. Oh, god damn. Those crewmen are not shy. Oh, that was machine gun. Yeah, they're not liking that. Oh, we actually did lose um, the gunner. Oh, shit. Right, okay, that's really bad, actually. That is actually really, really bad. I need somebody else to crew that vehicle. 
yeah, they're pulling back now. They're dropping smoke as well. This is the problem. I mean, <laughs> these vehicles aren't invincible. Small arms fire will definitely kill crew. Right, I really need to get out of this area with this vehicle and I need to um, head back. I need to pick up those um, guys, actually, and at least they can man the vehicle. Oh god, we won. Okay, wow. US Army total victory. That... That was a goddamn... Tough battle. I mean, I lost 7 armored vehicles, they lost 6 tanks, 13 armored vehicles, and 2 of the vehicles I ate. Well, i.e. the, uh, bloody jeeves, but god damn that was. That was interesting. So, I mean, we failed over here as well. I uh, we had too many, uh, casualties. But, um, yeah, we killed 92 of their men. Secured all of the objectives, apparently. Maybe they had to blow them? I'm not entirely sure. But, oh yeah, they were there. They were there. They would have been, um, at our doorstep in a few turns. That would have been quite dangerous, actually. That's, uh, three BTRs. And then this, which is a, uh, ATGM launcher. Hmm. I reckon we could have taken them. Actually, you did have quite a lot. Oh, right, so these are all the different crew. Yeah, so... Oh my god, each one of them has a PKM. Except this guy, the driver. So you can you can see why this thing was taken out, why the crewman over here was taken out. But he was the last US, um, US fatality. So that was a ridiculously good battle. I actually really enjoyed that. I mean, my favourite part was just the fact of just the sheer terror of all these T-90s pushing in. But, I mean, uh, the AI is um, is definitely competent. It didn't make a lot of mistakes, but the thing is, it works by the same rules as I do. I mean, if I was having to attack this town full of all these targets, I would find it really difficult as well. I would find it extremely difficult. I mean, it, it was a bold move to try and rush into the town. If they'd made it into the town, that could have been a hell of a problem. So my strikers would not have been able to take out these T-90s just would have been impossible. I don't know if we'd have enough javelins to take them out. We might have been running out at that point, so we definitely did run out towards the end. Uh, where did this one actually get killed? Somewhere. I mean, we could have put grenade fire into them from the grenade launchers on the rifles, but that would not have done enough damage. It would have been very dangerous. It's a damn shame that we lost a lot of strikers. I mean, our first striker loss was over here. I was shot in the rear, and that's uh, it's a shame. It was um, a very good vehicle as well, the grenade launcher. That would have been a fantastic vehicle to have in the rest of the march. But, um, yeah, that's a lot of devastation. I mean, the AI was trying to flank us. I guess it just took too long about it. I don't know why they took the, cr uh, well, the infantry out. Hmm. Quite a lot of infantry over here, actually. Right then. Well, yeah, that was a fantastic battle. You can see where all the mortars landed over here. Just amazing. I was surprised nothing ever came from this direction. I was really anticipating it coming from that direction. But yes, that has been that Wings of Glory, the Into the Breach scenario. So thank you all so goddamn much for watching. I hope you have a great holiday. And um, holidays, uh, holidays, depending on what you celebrate. So, uh, from me to you, uh, have a fantastic day. And uh, do not forget to subscribe if you like this content and you would like to see more. It would uh, really encourage me to put more Combat Mission Black Sea content up. Because I really enjoy this game, but I don't want to bore people with it. Because it does take a long time. So anyway, thank you guys, and I hope to see you again in the future. Goodbye for now.